Hello Teltonica community! My name is Gediminas and today we're going to unbox FMC 650, our newest addition to professional category. So let's get straight to it! So let's see what's inside the box of FMC 650. So from the first look we have slightly bigger box and opening it up we have the device itself FMC 650. So this device is our most feature-rich device designed to meet highest requirements of telematics industry when many external accessories and equipment needs to be connected simultaneously. And what else we have in our box? So we have GSM antenna, we have GPS antenna, standard cable and screws for tightening up the device itself in these small holes. And if you want to extend device functionality even further, by separate ordering you can get FMS cable, which can connect directly to FMS interface, and you can get tachograph cable, which can be connected straight to the tachograph. So now let's overview the physical look of the device itself. So over here we have J1708, cellular antenna connector, status LED, navigate LED, and as well GNSS connector. On the other side you have RS-232 port, RS-485 port and USB connector and of course 20 pin socket. With RS interfaces you can create a gateway between your external device and the server, connect thermograph for cold chain monitoring or iridium edge for satellite connectivity. So let's connect everything what we have here on the table. So GSM antenna goes into cellular connector GPS antenna goes into the GNSS connector over here like that and as well we have 20 pin connector so simply just put it like that and right there you have the device all set up for further configuration. But before we go there I would like to highlight that this FMC 650 stands out with its separate module to gather GNSS data and best-in-class positioning precision. Why is this possible? Because of L1 and L5 band support. On its own, L1 can already provide accurate location, but in combination with L5, you can get even more precise location. What is really important to mention, that this particular device is the first mass-market device with dual band support. So let's open it up. Taking one side, there's a opening like this, the another side, opening like that and we have it open. We have four different parts over here which holding the PCB. So taking that apart we can take it out behind the PCB we have the battery. So now I will not connect the battery itself so but here's the connector of the battery here. The module itself as well on the other side the SIM card slot and as well the additional SD card slot. What is really important to mention that this device has four digital inputs, four digital outputs, up to four analog inputs, one wire interface and additional one wire power line. Having these inputs allows you to connect many different accessories such as buttons, buzzers, fuel sensors, impulse counters, I buttons, RFID readers and many more. So in the beginning I have mentioned that you can separately order FMS cable and tachograph cable. FMC 650 device has one K line and two CAN lines for connecting to tachograph for remotely downloading DDD files. Also you can track live tachograph data as well as connecting to truck's CAN interface you can get vital parameters such as RPM, fuel level and many more. So the main question probably still stands. What are the biggest differences between FMC 640 and FMC 650 devices? FMC 650 compared to FMC 640 has a new processor which increases computing power. Moreover, the new device has 16 megabytes of internal flash memory which allows you to store 8 times more data than the previous devices. FMC 640 had constant CAN line resistance. Now FMC 650 CAN resistance can be switched on or off via configurator. Therefore you can easily connect to CAN lines where many external devices are already connected and not interrupt the CAN communication. So let's put this device back up and see the top use cases where this device is being used for. 
This particular tracker can be used in multiple different use cases, such as heavy-duty and mining equipment monitoring, cold chain supply monitoring, remote tachograph data download, can data reading from trucks and heavy-duty machinery, and many other use cases where precise location is required. And now, let's go to the summary of FMC650. So the key takeaways of this device. Number one, new Genesis dual band L1 plus L5 support, which significantly increases your tracking quality. Number two, better connectivity in EMEA, APAC, LATAM regions with new 4G LTE CAT1 model. Number three, new processor with increased memory and more processing power for more complex use cases and special developments. 4. Easily connect to CAN lines where many external devices are already connected and not interrupt the CAN communication. So that pretty much sums up the most important things of FMC650. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on LinkedIn and have a nice day.